Strike while the iron is hot. That is a philosophy that I really like and work hard to go ahead and implement. And I want to give you a couple examples of that. One is from a mentee and the other one is from me. So I've got a mentee. He's doing an awful lot of things right. He has multiple LOIs. But he was talking to a seller who said, yeah, this sounds interesting, but give me a buzz in two or three months. So he waited the two or three months. He called back and he ended up hearing, oh, yeah, thanks for calling, but I sold that business a month and a half ago. And what that to me points out is the importance of following up within the time frame that you're given by somebody. If they say, call me in a year, call me in five years, call me in three months, whatever it is, find a reason to touch base with them before that time has come about. Things change. I have a, <clears throat> another mentee who had someone that said, yeah, call me in whatever it was, a year or two. He didn't wait a year or two. He called back, just wanted to check in, see if anything has changed. Yeah, something's changed. I had a heart attack and I've been diagnosed with cancer and I want to get this business sold as soon as possible. Now, if he had waited the year, two years, five years, whatever it was in this case, that opportunity would likely have passed him by, whether the owner sold it to somebody else or whether the owner ended up dying and the heirs did whatever they did, closed the business down, I don't know what. So remember just the importance of following up. And you don't have to call up to say, I know we talked two weeks ago, uh, do you want to sell now when I told you it was going to be years from now? But you can send somebody an article to keep in touch with them that's relevant to the business. You can also call up uh, every few months, every couple months to say, just wanted to touch base. I came across your file and sometimes people's situations change. You still want me to call you in a, a year or three months or whatever it is. Um, or has something changed at that time frame might have changed. And some percentage of those people are going to say, yes, something has changed, certainly. The other thing to remember is when someone says, call me in a month, call me in three months, call me in a year, oftentimes that is just a technique to get you off the phone. And so I would always in that case say, okay, I can absolutely do that. I'm just curious, what's going to be different, do you think, three months from now, a year from now, two years from now. They may have a good reason. They may have no good reason. And they oftentimes when you ask that question, what you'll hear is silence. And they'll say, well, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I don't know, but you know, it's, I'm not ready. And, or guess what? I guess nothing's going to change. So yeah, let's talk about that. But ask that question, what's going to change within the time frame? that you've been given. Okay, so I said strike while the iron's hot, and I would give you an example for me as well. So yesterday, my wife and I went to a farmer's market, um, bought a few things there, and there was a young artist who was showing a bunch of his photographs that he had framed. And there was one in particular that my wife, her attention was caught by it. I asked how much it was, it seemed reasonable. She said, okay, let me think about it. And in the time that she was thinking about it, a guy walked up, looked at it, and said, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Uh, I'll take that. And it was gone, instantly gone. So the I'm not telling you to make rash decisions, but I am telling you to, number one, remember the lesson of follow-up. And number two, if something is there that you want that makes sense, et cetera, et cetera. Don't hesitate too long. Go ahead and act while the iron is hot and take advantage of that opportunity because opportunities are fleeting. If you are getting my emails, great. If you are not, go over to brucewhipple.com, grab the free report there. That'll put you on the mailing list. Take that free class I offer. And if you just want to go directly to the free class, it's go.brucewhipple.com forward slash free class. The other thing, depending upon when you listen to this, is I've got one spot which is opening up in the VIP Mastermind. Those go very quickly. It's a spot that uh, will be available first or second week in July. But far before then, that spot will get 
uh, in, get filled. So if you're interested in that, go over to BruceWhipple.com, um, look at the VIP Mastermind program. It'll say sold out. The reason it says sold out is I want to be sure the person's a fit before I take their payment. So, But that'll give you the details. And then if that has interest, go ahead and email me directly. But remember, follow up and strike while the iron is hot.